Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to improve your productivity as a developer by installing and adding ChatGPT to Visual Studio Code. In this video, I will show you how to install the OpenAI extension using two different extensions, the popular JetGPT and the less known CodeGPT. These extensions make use of the OpenAI GPT-3 API. I will also guide you on how to create an API key and demonstrate how to use ChatGPT to generate responses within Visual Studio Code. Let's begin by installing the popular JetGPT extension for Visual Studio Code. To do this, open Visual Studio Code and click on the extension button. In the search bar, type ChatGPT, then choose the extension by Ali Gensey, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, which is the highest number of the downloads. Next, install the extension. Let's explore how ChatGPT as your co-pilot can level up your developer experience. There are three options for set up the extension. The recommended option is to use the auto login feature. The second option is to use the OpenAI official GPT-3 API. And the third option, which is not recommended, is the manual login. Once the extension is installed, you will see a new icon appear on the left side of your screen on your code editor. Click on the ChatGPT icon and then click on the login button. This will launch your Chrome browser. If you encounter an error, make sure that the path to the chrome.exe file is correct. In my case, the path was different. To resolve this error, click on the manage icon on the left side of the screen, then click on the settings. In the search bar, type ChatGPT, scroll down and paste your Google Chrome path in the settings here. Close the window. Next, click on the login button, which will launch your Google Chrome browser and open the OpenAI login form. If you do not have an account, you will need to create one. If you already have an account, please enter your login details. Once you have completed the login process, leave the website open in the background and return to your Visual Studio code. Now that we are logged in, we can see that the login button has disappeared indicating that we are ready to use ChatGPT in Visual Studio Code. Let's test it out by typing the following prompt. Create a class component containing a basic form with the submit button. ChatGPT begins to generate the code for us, including a constructor as a state, handle change and submit events, and the basic form render. We can then click the insert button and the code will be immediately added to our app.js file. This looks valid to me, so let's select the entire code, right click and choose options such as add tests, find bugs, optimize, explain and add comments. Add test. We can see that ChatGPT has imported shallow method from Enzyme. And we can add the test to our code. Let's select all again and Odd comments. Ooh, this is excellent. Valid for me. Select all again. And this time I will use a prompt. Refactor the selected code to a functional component. Now, wow, this is quick. The ability to transform a class component to a functional component in such a short amount of time. Very good. Additionally, we can use the find bugs option. Okay, nicely spotted. The component doesn't have any validation. Yes. On the form input doesn't handle any external logic or any callback. Great. This feature can really improve our productivity as a developers. Now let's install the other extension. I have already uninstalled the ChatGPT extension. In the search bar, type in code GPT and choose the extension Write and Improve Code Using AI. Click on the install and scroll down to see the installation process. In order to use this extension, we must add our API key to the settings. Let's click on the manage and settings. 
typing on the search bar code GPT in the top field, we must paste in our API key. To get our API key, we must go to the website openei.com and click on API. If you click on the get started, you can create a new account, but I already have one. So I will click on login, login with your account, then click on the top right corner to your name. And in the drop down menu, click on the view API keys. There you will find the create new secret key button. Click on it. This will generate you the secret key. Click on copy, then go back to your Visual Studio code, paste your key in the top field and close the window. Now this is ready to use. Click on the code GPT icon on the left side. Let's type in the following prompt. Show me an example of a React component. As you can see, the difference here is that instead of having a typing effect, the code inserted straight into the code editor. And it also shows you how many tokens you used for this request. Let's use the following prompt. Show me an example of the fetch API in JavaScript. This is great. Using the fetch function with .den and .catch. Now simply click anywhere on the code and it will automatically be pasted into your app.js file. Select the whole code and right click. As you can see, we have similar options to choose from. Explain what the code does. This code makes an HTTP request. Yes, yes, this is valid to me. Select the code again, right click and refactor the code. Brilliant! Just refactor to use async await function. As we can see, it's very similar to use both extensions. Both are easy to install. It's just a matter of preference which one you prefer. These extensions will really improve and make your productivity faster. If you like this video and learned something valuable, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. This could help me to improve my channel. Or if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and happy coding. Bye.